Hello friends. So finally, the wait is over. The dates for NEET PG 2021 has been announced. It will be conducted on 18th April. So the uncertainty which students were having regarding dates and making revision timetable is over now. You have the final date and you have to make your own revision timetable so that you can give NEET PG with confidence. In this video, I will share revision strategy for NEET PG 2021. One thing you have to keep in your mind is it's not time to read anything new. Whatever you have read, you have to revise, revise and only revise. Revision is the key. Whatever you read but not revised will be waste of time. So it's not time to do anything new. Also, do not change your source of reading. Even though your friends are reading new stuffs, don't get carried away. So considering 18th April, you have around 90 days left for your exam. You have to complete minimum 3 revisions in this time. So for the first revision, you have to give around 50% of your time, that is 45 days. For second revision, give 25 days. And for last revision, you can give 20 days. You can adjust days for second and third revision according to your convenience. Now let me tell you subject wise timetable and days allotment. I have divided subjects into three categories long, medium, and short subjects and divided days accordingly. This is the timetable for first revision, that is for first 45 days. You can adjust days depending upon your weaker and stronger subjects, but complete first revision in first 45 days. You can take the screenshot of this timetable or pause the video and write it down. Now what you want to do along with this revision? You have to review your bookmark questions along with the particular subject. You have to review image based questions and mark those points with highlighter or different color pen that you specifically need to see again during your second and third revision. In these 45 days, you have to give at least 2 to 4 grand tests. Now the question is when you will give the grand test in this timetable. Let me explain. Suppose you are good at some subjects, you can complete the revision of that subject in less time and give 1 GT. Likewise, you have to give at least 3 to 4 GTs or mock test. This is the timetable for you I will make. Just take the screenshot and get the printout. Or I will give the link to download the image in the description below. Just fill the number of days and dates and just tick the subjects when you are done. On left there are 4 circles where GT is written. When you give grand test, just darken the circle. This timetable will help you to track your consistency and also you will feel motivated when your target is in front of you. This is the timetable for second revision. You have to complete all 19 subjects in 25 days. And that's how I divided each subject. I have combined few subjects in medium and short subject category. You can change according to your comfort and understanding, but try to complete it within 25 days. Next is the timetable for third revision. There are only 20 days for third revision. So as the time goes, you have to increase your pace and consistency. You can take the same printout of the timetable for second and third revision to keep yourself on track. Remember friends, revision is only key to success. Your marks will be mirror image of what you have recalled in your exam, not how much you read full year. And recalling is completely dependent upon revision. So utilize your time wisely. Friends, this was all about this video. Do watch our other videos on Need PG series. Link will be there in the description below. Do like and subscribe our channel and also share it among your friends. Thank you. Keep studying. Be motivated.